Can't look at you the same way, anticipating heartbreak. And I know, and I know, and I know. Congratulations on everything that's been going on over the last while, because everybody is so excited. When I said that I was talking to you today, everybody was like, oh my god. OMG. OMG. So that when I um, first found out about you was the BBC Sound. And have you noticed those little markers where kind of more attention kind of creeps in? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I've always, over the past few years, looked at the list to discover new artists, so mm. it was mental to find myself on the list. And I think other people have found my music through that too, so that's obviously a and It's obviously a major confidence thing. boost to keep going and be yeah, like, oh my yeah. god, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, of course, is like uh, waiting for an album. That's obviously a bit off at this stage. What do you think, maybe next year? Really, um, well, oh, not maybe not. soon. Soon. I didn't say anything, I just said soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's nearly finished, so uh, oh, really? hopefully after Christmas. Like breathing underwater, where's the law and order? Obviously the EP was awesome, uh, it was yeah. amazing, and it was uh, the first obviously on XL. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I self-released an EP mm -hmm. called the, the Monday EP, and then I, um, yeah, I had the Understudy EP, which is the first thing I released on the label. Mm -hmm. And then uh, since last Christmas, I've been working on the album, really. Yeah. Yeah. And had there been a couple of offers and all that sort of stuff, or were you just like, Excel, that's where I need to be? Because it is uh, known, you know, to be a place where musicians can go and really, I guess, just be themselves. I mean, there was quite a few people, like, mm -hmm. talking to me, but I definitely felt at home with those people. I think they understood, like, the concept of, like, artists doing it for themselves mm -hmm. and not being... Um, being left the time alone to develop rather mm -hmm. than being told, okay, you should do this, because I still didn't know myself, like, what sound or where I wanted to, to go with my music, so... And I've never done songs thinking, okay, right, I'm just going to write this amount of songs and that's going to be the album. Mm -hmm. I've just constantly churned out songs every week and just, like, kept a real freedom and fluidity of it, so yeah. I'm not, like you know, blocked myself or put myself in a certain genre or a certain thing. I was like, okay, well, I'll make this song a bit like reggae or I'll make mm. this song like more like caribou-like. Like, like mm. definitely um, the creative freedom has, has helped me shape the album. Uh, has there been anything on it that's completely consumed you? I don't, I don't, I don't want to say too much about the album. Oh, okay. Probably not allowed. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, it's... Um, I'm excited for people to, to hear mm -hmm. it just because it, I feel like the album is a true reflection of me as an artist Amazing. and I don't think the EP is show enough yet, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a taste there. Well, we've had a taste already and I guess... <laughs> we had a taste. We've had a taste mm. already. I wasn't, we're ready for the full meal. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. <laughs> With the way you're sitting as well, it's just like... Shay Long. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank it's been absolutely awesome. Thank you very awesome. much. Um, big things. That's all. That's all.